Welcome to Charm EHR Quest Interface Video Tutorial. This video explains how the interface works between Charm EHR and Quest for sending orders and receiving results electronically. Lab orders can be created from multiple locations. Chart Note and Lab Orders section. Let me walk you through this. Now, let's create a lab order from a chart note on a patient's visit. Go to the search bar and enter the patient name and select Encounter. In an Encounter under Diagnosis section, click Add DX. Search the DX by entering the diagnosis name or by the code. After adding DX, go to Recommendation section. Click Auto Labs tab. Use Search and Add option to find the lab you're looking for. Find the test by entering the test name. This will list the test matching in Quest Compendium. If selected test has Ask at Order Entry, AOE, questions, then AOE screen will pop up. Fill in the answers and click Add. Similar way, multiple tests can be added. Once you have added all your tests, you have to map the DX to the lab orders. You can map all the DX to all the tests using Map All DX option, or diagnosis can also be mapped at a test specific level. After adding all the tests in the chart node, use Transmit to initiate electronic transmission process. Select Send Order Electronically option. This opens up the lab order summary view. Verify the details of the lab order. Once done, click Next button. If a specimen is collected at the in-house laboratory, enter the specimen collection date and time. If it requires, you can provide internal comments to the lab. Billing has three options. As a client, patient, and third party. You can select the option based on the individual who pays the lab fee. If the bill type is client, practice or clinic is taking responsibility to pay the lab fees. Practice collects the specimen at the in-house laboratory and sends the specimen to Quest Lab Information System, LIS. Then the practice collects the fee from the patient and pays to the Quest. If the bill type is patient, the lab fee will be paid by the patient directly to the laboratory. Guarantor details are mandatory. If guarantor is configured in the patient demographic section, it will be automatically pulled here. If you select the third party billing, then the lab fee will be paid by the insurance company. Click the drop down menu and select the insurance. The insurance company details are configured under the patient dashboard. If the practice has in-house lab, they can collect the specimen in-house and place the order directly to Quest Diagnostic Lab using Place Order to LIS button. And the specimen sample can be transported to Quest. Else, place the order to Patient Service Center using Place Order to PSC button. Patient will have to go in person to the service center for a specimen draw. On placing order to LIS, Order tests are grouped based on the test type, specimen condition, and the temperature. This leads to the split of a single lab order to multiple lab orders. Click Send Order to Transmit Lab Order Electronically to LIS. To view the status of lab order transmission, click Transmit. This opens up the order details view. Electronically sent information can be seen here, and the lab orders can be printed using Print option. Order requisition copy can be given to the patient in case of order sent to patient service center. To print specimen label, go to lab record section, lab orders, click three dots and select print specimen label option. Enter the number of copies you want and click print. Lab orders can be added without encounter from lab orders section using Add Lab Order button. Search for the required patient and select Use Search and Add option to find the lab you're looking for. Map the diagnosis and save the order. 
selects an order electronically from the action item. This opens up the summary view. Fill in the needed details and transmit to LIS or PSC, like in the encounter section. Once the Quest Diagnostics completes the test, the test results will be pushed electronically to Charm. Electronic results are automatically mapped to the associated lab order and to the patient. Received results are available in Labs, Lab Results section, as well as in the Patient Dashboard's Lab Records section. Review the result and sign. Change the filter status to Sign to view the signed test results. You can download the result report using Export as PDF option. You can share this to PHR account using Share option. Enter the message to the patient and share. Unsolicited results may receive with incorrect patient details. Such results are not be able to map to the patient automatically. They are listed in the lab results section named with unknown patient. In this case, use map patient option. The patient details received in the result message are shown in the top and the probable patients available in your account shown below is based on the date of birth and gender of the patient details received. Map the appropriate patient to the result. Patient gets associated with the result and the result can be reviewed and signed. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts or clarifications, please get back to us at supportacharmhealth.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Charm. Once again, thank you for watching.